Hi, and welcome back to Chicago Car Club. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this super cool 91 Toyota. Uh, this is a Winnebago Itasca Micro Mini Spirit 21. It's a 21 foot class CRV. Um, this is a 82,000 mile unit. It is properly serviced. It's road ready. Uh, we bought it from a couple um, out of uh, North Dakota um, at the border of Minnesota. The car originally was in Texas uh, before making its way to the Midwest. Unfortunately, the prior owner's spouse passed and uh, the widow uh, no longer has a need for the vehicle anymore. Uh, this is a very well sorted unit it has a lot of great features on it which we're going to show you and take you around and give you a full detailed view just slowly going to move around and show you the box little features on it your hot water heater you've got your outlets next to it on the right That's for your water heater on the left which we didn't open because the tops in the way is a Kohler uh, 2500 watt generator here is our six lug floating axle. Um, this is the correct rear end for this one-ton Toyota that everybody's looking for. The tires on the rear are in excellent shape. Just kind of moving you along. The box is really nice. Obviously, you're going to have, over time, the decals dry and crack, but for the most part, this thing is in phenomenal shape. The cab itself is bone dry, which you'll see as we go through this. Down on the rockers, not a speck of rust. This front tire, we notice a little bit of dry cracking on, um, maybe from sitting in the sun, not sure, but uh, the tread wear is great on it, just we noticed that and want to point it out. This is the V6. It is a one-ton chassis. Body's in great condition. A couple little dents, as you'd expect, on the hood. There's a little spot here that was fiberglass patched up, maybe from bumping into something. But a largely, largely original, very dry, excellent example of one of these and it hasn't been abused which is probably the most important part um, oftentimes we find these or see these all beat up and, and not taken care of this thing has no odors inside it's in great shape it's well maintained they recently did new airbags on it um, we have a little bit of service record on it uh, recent oil changes timing belt water pump it's got a new roof AC unit, uh, automatic transmission services, a gasket package on it. Um, so really just a well situated. I can't see up here, but I'm going to show you the roof. Nice, good shape. We don't see any leaks inside. When we open the door here, you'll get to see just inside the door jam. That's kind of our main way to tell the condition of a vehicle overall. And as you can see, I mean, bottom of the doors are bone dry. The sill, just everything you'd want out of an 80,000 mile Toyota with plenty of miles left to go. Tilt steering wheel, cruise control, overdrive, automatic, which is really nice. This thing runs really great, which you'll see later on in the video. The seats are in great shape. Dash, all the glass is very nice. Again, no odors. The thing's just in really, really, really excellent condition. I'm six foot three. I fit in it comfortably, which is fantastic. We're going to start it up and show you under the hood. It does have air conditioning. Everything on it works. Take you under the hood and give you a look at it. Cold start. The three liter V6. This thing is just bulletproof. And again, it's good service. So. A lot of confidence, new batteries, new house batteries. Now we'll take you inside and, and show you the interior. Like I said, there is a Kohler generator on board with an interior switch to start. As we walk in, you can see the carpet's got a little bit of sun fade in it, but for the most part, it's in really good shape. No interior smells, all the cloth is nice. The only real things that we see in here are some of the light fixtures, the little square lights, as you can see up there. There's no 
uh, no plastic cover on, but those are replaceable. As you can see in the forward bed here, which is over the driver's compartment, there's this little filler, which makes the forward sleeping quarters with your windows, overhead lights, and this overlooks the driver's compartment. So you've got access on the road to getting back into the cab, Turn on the microwave, grab something out of the fridge, whatever your co-pilot chooses. Here we've got a flip down table, which our cups just fell out of, supported by these little wood slats. And we'll just show you back here as I fix those cups. There's your sink, cabinetry, everything's super clean. Under here is our cooktop is in excellent condition. The oven looks like it's never been used. The microwave just the same. I'm just going to take you around and show you all the storage compartments. We do have the full operator's manual. That is a brand new AC unit as we understand. And inside the fridge here. Back in the head back here we've got a stand-up shower which has got great height. Your water source right there and your head next to it and then we've got a little sink with some overhead cabinets we've got a really nice big cabinet here for hanging clothes nice and tall again inside oven looks unused microwave used minimally your sink you've got nice cabinets with organizers under here it's clearly evident that nobody lived in this um, and the use was, was minimal. The wear and tear on this is, is wildly impressive as far as older RVs go. It does have heat. Again, it has AC. It has an onboard generator. Here's a view from the back. Looking forward, we'll fire up the generator here so you can hear it run. Pull choke. does run really nice and yeah, we do notice that the choke needs to be out on it to keep a good idle but the switch works nicely let's take this thing for a ride now this is a 1991 Winnebago this might actually be a 92 based on the fact that it was the Winnebago build date was December of 91, which usually tells us it's a 92 model year. So we're not sure on that. The truck itself is a 90 model year, uh, which was normal that it was an earlier model year on the cab. And then that was sent out and they built the box on it. But we're gonna take it down the block, show you how well it runs, overdrive, everything functions as it should. It shifts beautifully. It stops nice and straight. Um, the only thing we notice is the steering wheel is just off center a little bit when going straight down the street. It doesn't pull or, or stray at all on you, but that could easily be sorted out with an alignment if needed. But really it accelerates well. It gets pretty great fuel mileage in these things and it really feels like it has quite a bit of power given the fact that it's an RV. We'll show you here as we brake in a straight line. And off the wheel on the brake it stops nice and straight we'll turn the corner here we'll do the same thing we'll accelerate and get it up to speed and let you hear it shift through a couple of years but again it's super comfortable the air conditioning works got an aftermarket radio in it no exhaust leaks it sounds really good accelerating shifts nice and crisp right up to speed. It actually hauls, so um, next to my Winnebago, which is on a Sprinter chassis, this thing will absolutely light it up. And then next we're going to take you underneath it and, and give you a look at the underside and see how clean this thing is. So we've got this up on our four post lift. It's only got a, a gross weight of 6,000 pounds. 
So we've lifted it up here so we can get underneath it and just show you how dry and solid. It's actually rather incredible. Um, my newer unit, which is a 2017, looks gnarlier than this underneath. So quite impressive to look underneath here. You've got your septic, your gray and your black dump. There's your exhaust for your generator, your Kohler, which is up in there. You'll see newer shocks. It's got new airbags on it. The tire tread is great on both sides. There's your one new airbag. There's your floating rear end, adjustable, another airbag. Normal stuff underneath a Winnebago. We do have an auto check report on this. It does indicate the mileage to be correct. Again, feel free to contact us at any time with any questions. You can text or call 312-420-3696. Thanks and visit us at chicagocarclub.com.